Alrighty, so we are getting the car packed up. Um, we are headed out of town again. We are staying in Texas this time. It's spring break and we just want to go kind of not too far from Houston. And so we are headed to Livingston, Texas. Livingston is about, um, I don't know how many miles it is, but it's about an hour and a half drive um, for us. And we're really excited. Like they have a lake there and they have a cute little downtown area. And I'm really excited to go explore and spend some time there and see what they have to offer. So let's hit the road. I made it to Livingston and Chris and the kids are all at the RV. I wanted to come into town and just kind of check it out, see what they had. And so I'm here and I found the cutest little shop. I love it. It's a florist shop. It's got some like really cute stuff inside, but this is what caught my eye. Look at this mural. Isn't that adorable? It says scatter joy and see what grows. I don't know if it's backwards or not, but um, I love it. I can't wait to show you what's inside. Let's go check it out. Huddles by Annie, and this is Annie. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm so excited to actually be in the store. So I have to tell you, like, I drove by probably about a month ago, okay. and I saw the mural yes. outside, and I was like, oh my god, I have to go in that store. Yeah. It looks so cute. Awesome. And I started stalking you on social media. Okay. And um, it's adorable, like oh. absolutely adorable. Thank so you. tell me a little bit of background about this place. Like, sure. How did you get the idea for it? Okay, so uh, me and my husband have had our own business in town uh, for about 15, 16 years, and um, always had a dream one day to own my own little boutique. Had kind of in the past uh, done some like decorating for people, their homes, and uh, just just a few things, you know, furniture, doing just layouts of homes and. Got, and obviously kind of had just like a little knack for it and um, so uh, just kind of played around with the other other things florals and uh, not necessarily uh, just mainly like artificial stuff and had just done a few pieces for some people and just found an interest in it and um, so years later my husband was like you know what this is your thing you need to run run I with it, it. Yeah. <laughs> and so eight, eight years ago we were located about three streets over here and we were there for eight years and then September this of, of 2021 we actually moved into this new location uh, bought it in 2020 renovated it and here we are and it's gorgeous thank you like you've done such a great job it's been fantastic just moving three streets over to a downtown location on the corner of of the block has made a huge difference yeah. so we're and excited what, and what a blessing for the community absolutely well, it gives yes. everybody a place to shop it's local absolutely. to support small business yes which yes I'm all about that. yes and downtown our downtown right now is definitely uh, thriving we're seeing more action going on um, and so we just had a store across the street open a week ago um, and so we are seeing all of our little spaces filled up with retail um, boutiques and stuff and so it's really neat That's to see awesome. it to see yeah. it growing absolutely yeah. to have life come back absolutely today. yes For it's sure. Adorable. I yeah. love it. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, we actually started in service training today. Um, but we have been here actually Wednesday, sorry, Tuesday was our six months, uh, half, our half year birthday is what we like to call it, our half year birthday in the new location. Um, and so we thought, 
we need to, you know, once things started slowing down and we got our good routine and rhythm going, we're like, okay, this is what we need to do. Again, it's a matter of people coming from all over um, to experience the experience here. And so what is our, our number one goal? The customer service obviously is uh, a big part of what we want people from the time that they walk in the store to the time that they leave, they want to have that experience. We actually uh, have people, uh, our little customers, some of them are widowed or whatever the, the, the reason that they're coming in here may be. <laughs> they do tell us like, uh, there's nothing like walking in here and feeling like, that we're actually loved or, yes. you know. It and feels like home. It does, it, really does. it does. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to create, just a place where everybody wants to come. We don't have a big space that people can come in and sit, but believe it or not, uh, around 10 or 11 o'clock, there's a bunch of ladies that will meet here for coffee and pastries. Mm -hmm. And it just makes my heart like super excited just to see, um, you know, the ladies meet here and drink coffee. And we're trying to create that space that's welcoming and that they feel comfortable in. Um, and so creating that space for them is very important. Absolutely. And you've done a great job of that too, because there's coffee and tea yeah. and nice, comfortable seating, you know, so it's, and it's inside and outside. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. a perfect mix for yeah. whatever you're really Well, doing. we added the garage door to give a same, a lot of times when we, um, when we have the garage door shut for whatever reason, the weather or something is wrong, it just doesn't feel the same in here. It gives it that good outside, that balance of a good a mix and that feel. fresh breeze. Absolutely. 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 Always is refreshing. Absolutely. Feel and smell the fresh air. Exactly. And, yeah. Exactly. So how can people find you on social media, website, all of that? Okay. So we are actually working on our website. Our website is beautiful, it's just not user friendly. So we're in the process of um, changing that over to like an e-commerce site where people can actually shop online. Perfect. And so we will have that up and running uh, probably within the next couple of months. But you can find us on Facebook at Pedals by Amy or you can uh, Instagram or we are now new to TikTok. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so you have to follow us on TikTok because we need more friends on TikTok. We actually just started a week ago okay. and um, we have, we're receiving like 20 or 30 new friends a day. So that's a big deal that's to us because, and, and it looks like we're starting to get more following. So Absolutely. yeah, so we've got fun stuff on there. Awesome. Sweet. Well, thank you so much for having yeah, me. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you coming. Yeah. So isn't that place awesome? Annie was so sweet to show me around and I just, I'm so glad I got to meet her and all the girls that work there. You are gonna love it. It really does feel like home when you walk in. Um, but next I have something I actually need to get. I'm going to Ruby Cattle Company. Um, they have a farm outside of town, about 20 minutes, but they also have a market in town, like in like downtown area, where you can get steaks and all sorts of stuff. And so I'm gonna head in there and get some meat for tonight for dinner. So you said it's been in your family for four generations, is that the, right? The herd has been, the cow herd. We've got a... Uh, Let's see, we would have genetics that go back to cows that my great-grandfather had. How many generations is that? Five. Four. Four? Is it four? And if you count my kids, I guess that's five. Five. But for me, I'm fourth generation. <laughs> wow. So. But no, it's, 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 it's been good. I mean, we, we, we really focus on the genetics and we have been, for my lifetime, my father's a veterinarian. Uh, went to graduate from Antium and so we wanted to take our beef to the consumer and I think it's been a great response so far yeah. uh, so hopefully we can navigate I, I, I told Stephen the other day as long as I've been doing this and I'm 47 I think um, I've never seen an environment this difficult for really? ranchers yeah I mean 
between the diesel prices and fertilizer prices and everything else that we're looking at, um, it's going to be difficult. But, uh, you know, that said, we got a great group of guys and gals, a great team, and uh, good, good beef. And, and you love what you do. And love what we do, yeah. so we're going to keep going. There you go. We run, we operate on about 1,200 acres. Wow. Um, that's pasture and hay field and stuff like that. There's more land that cows have access to, but as far as like grass and hay, that's where, where we're at. Wow. You know, we, we started as a kind of going to farmer's markets, and that's great. We have an online delivery option for Houston and Huntsville and all the local areas. And I would love to grow that. Um, but the storefront has really taken off, it's been fantastic uh, for retail sales. We've got the prepared food, we've been exploring that. I think we're gonna really look at um, trying to up our game when it comes to jerky and summer sausage and things like that. But that store for me is really kind of neat in that we, I don't know that everything is locally produced, but that's important to us. It's what we are trying to do, and so we want to support our uh, fellow vendors. And so most of what we sell out of the store, we buy from other ranches and farms and vendors like us. And so it's Texas produce, and we're going to do the same thing with the, you know, Texas breweries or whatever we can find. Um, I'm going to have to do a lot of research on the Texas vineyards to come up with some yeah, good ones, but that's so much fun it, it'll be, it'll be <laughs> fun. Yeah. Oh, the game plan is definitely anything we can do to kind of keep people busy and mm -hmm. help pay the bills and keep the cow herd growing and doing well. And happy so. and mooing. Happy and mooing, <laughs> that's right. Every, every person that works here, I, you know, it's like, uh, I don't know how we wound up so fortunate, but I don't think we could do it without Steven or without Autumn or without Phaedra or Doc or Cowboy or Smith. I mean, just go down the list. And so for me, that's what really um, keeps me optimistic about, you know, not only tomorrow, but two or three years from now. If you get beef from Ruby Cattle Company, you're getting something that was born here and raised with all the care, you know, our family can it and uh, just really cared for and taken care of in a way that allows that animal to have the best happiest life it can have um, because really our best method for success as a ranch and as ranchers is to set our animals up to have as much success as possible and so you want them to be in a nice environment a healthy environment you want to care for them as good as you can and so you know when you buy that beef Ruby Cattle Company beef it really is beef that was born here raised here fattened here the only time it ever leaves is when it goes to the processor and it goes to the processor and comes back and we store it so you know we have control over that product from inception till it hits your plate and that's really for us what we wanted and you know, that you, you take pride in that. Um, we, uh, you can think back and we do sometimes over just the number of people you feed over the years, you know, it's thousands and thousands. And that's cool. That's neat. Yeah. So that you're a part of people's lives, part of people's lives. <laughs>
right, so we are gonna do a little bit of hiking today. I think that we are going to do this loop right here, just around the little peninsula. Um, not too far, you know, don't wanna wear everybody out. Uh, but all of this, we actually got here at a great time because all of this, all the campsites are closed right now. They had some things happen, I guess, with a storm or something. And so there's no um, drinkable water in the park right now. So luckily we were able to come in for a day pass and be able to still explore. So that was nice. Um, so if you're interested in coming to the park, it is six dollars per it's six dollars per adult and 12 and under are free. I would make a reservation because this place gets hopping, especially on you know um, holiday weekends and spring break and that kind of thing. So I actually have a park pass. So this enables me to get in and make reservations ahead of time and then not have to pay so i think this was like uh i think it was like 70 or 80 a year but i get in all the texas state parks and we get discounts on um spots for the rv and camping and stuff like that so definitely check that out but i think that's what we're gonna be doing vineyards it's a beautiful vineyard out in Livingston it's kind of outside the city but you've got to stop by they have some amazing wines that I cannot wait to try and look around and see the animals and uh, well let's go at Temp Creek Vineyards. This is Jennifer, Hello. the owner, um, and you have a beautiful property. Thank you I so much. Absolutely, I love it. It's so peaceful. The kids are playing with the animals right now. Um, and it really feels like a good family space. Yeah. Is, is that what you kind of envisioned? I mean, how did you guys get started with this? So we do want it to feel very much like a family space. Um, there's not a lot of activities in this area where you can bring small children. We have small children. And so we really do want to make it somewhere where families feel very comfortable bringing their kids, let them run around, let them play, or come on a nice date day, you know, yeah. or night, whatever. Um, it's fine either way. Um, but we kind of got started before we ever even had kids. And at some point I was like, Michael, that's my husband, uh, we have got to like do something, like have somewhere to go out of the city, you know? Yeah. We're not necessarily preppers at all, but <laughs> um, it was kind of like an escape, you know, if something, a hurricane, right? right? Have some place to go. So have some place yeah. to go, yeah. right? So uh, not just drive as far as you can and get a hotel room it was like let's have somewhere to go and so we kind of started looking you know casually and then what really 
um, you know, made it take off the idea was when we were planning our wedding, we wanted this. We wanted a vineyard or a ranch or something that we could rent out the big space and have a party. Yeah. And um, we were getting quotes back in the thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. Expensive. Very, Very expensive. expensive. Yes. And so we thought, well, not only is there a market there, but like everyone should have a chance yeah. to have their dream wedding Absolutely. and not spend thirty five thousand dollars. Absolutely. You know, or more. And Absolutely. so because uh, most people can't do that, no. right? Yeah. Um, and so we started looking a little bit more seriously after our wedding and a few months after we got married we bought this. Awesome. So yeah. And it's a beautiful piece of property. Thank you. And there's a vineyard. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so what can people expect when they come out here? Yeah, so we have about five acres that are um, available for guests to kind of wander around, uh, feed the cows and the donkeys. We actually just got some goats. So in the coming weeks, we'll have the goats out here on Saturdays for people to interact with and feed. Um, the cows and the donkeys are very used to people. They love them. They are very loving. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> uh, the vineyard is open. We usually have some seating once it gets a little bit warmer out in the, in the grass a little bit. And then we've got a big pavilion up here where we do events. Um, we have live music about once a month or so and um, craft days. And sometimes we have vendors out here and stuff like that. So on a Saturday, there's almost always something going on. That's great. Yeah. And so for like vine purposes, mm -hmm. if you wanted that traditional like full grapes on the vine kind of look what time is that so bud bursts will occur uh, this week as long as the sun stays out and so by about four weeks after that so mid um, April beginning to mid April we'll have grapes on the vine wow. um, they're at their peak at all through June <laughs> um, and then we usually harvest in the beginning of July great So where can people find out more about you and about this beautiful place? Yeah, so we do have a website. It's called TempeCreekVineyard.com um, and we have everything on there. So I have a blog that I try really hard to keep up with, a list of all of our events, um, go right on there as soon as they're planned with a link to tickets if tickets are involved um, and lots of other information about the vineyard in general. Our wedding packages and small event packages are also uh, listed on the website website. Um, I'm pretty active on both Instagram and Facebook at Tempe Creek Vineyard and you can always just give me a call at 936-239-9644. It goes right to my cell phone and I try to answer pretty quick. Perfect. Nuh-uh. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, I got a bottle of blood orange wine, a couple bottles of Moscato, oh, a little yeah. tasting. Yeah. Yeah, they have one that they have coming out in May that's a habanero peach that sounds... Uh, did you try it? So good. No. I got to try it. You got to try it? Sure did. No. 